Okay, so next day, we're gonna reveal the effect. First one, we did the surround wrap. Doesn't have much, a little bit here. This has a little bit right here. And some uh, here is pretty. And that is the biggest plastic making the big mark. And um, I'll show you how to finish this painting. Right now it's pretty, but it's not finished. It just looked like an accidental. Well, I'm gonna make it like it intentional. So that's one. All right. And the next one, the cheesecloth. It's a really pretty color. So take this off. Now you see what made the cheesecloth. Sometimes it's saturated, sometimes desaturated and pale. Sometimes it's dark and saturated. Like here has a really um, darker lines, shows, and then sometimes takes the color off. So it depends on the saturation of the color in the water or dryness of that paper or whatever causes that different effect, whether it's light, lighter or darker where the cloths are. But that's pretty color gradu uh, gradation. So that's another one. And I'm gonna finish this too. It's kind of pretty as is, this one is. But I think it can be like I have a little bit of emphasis, have some hands-on so it becomes yours, not just a accidental mark making, more of intentional. But it's very pretty, I like this one. Okay, so this one is, um, sometimes it's hard to take this off. It's like a glued. If that doesn't come off, just leave it on. I'm gonna try to peel this off. Oh, it peels nicely. So now you see when it's, this one was in there, was a little darker. So that piece of paper um, took that color and uh, water absorbed into this to make this mark. But it kind of separates from uh, outside inside because one is that is that paper is sucking all that colors and moisture. Another thing is that I put blue or purple over it. So that synced into the paper. So that one definitely took color off. That one has red. It didn't really sink in too much, but they're a little bit here. So kind of glued on. If you can't get it off, you can have it stuck in. I sometimes like to paste this back on to give a uh, kind of similar color scheme. Like here, probably nice to glue this on. Anyway, I'll save, I save this uh, tissue paper for later use. That's kind of pretty. Sometimes if you re-wet it, it'll come off. Yeah. This is a little damp and then still hard to come off. So maybe it's easier when it's a little bit more damp. Maybe I should just re-wet this. There you go. That comes off. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Right, so that's really pretty. Just subtle shapes are revealing. I like it. And then again, I'll finish this up with adding some contrast. So this one is messy because I have to brush that sand off. Lift this up. It's kind of stuck on. Toss this in the trash. All right, so I still have like a little bit of sand stuck on a paper. It's mostly clear. So if you look at that effect where all this white, that's where sand is blocking from color to come in and also lighter parts.
part that's where sand was and then where the paper was exposed has a color but place that had uh, sand but color soaked in gave this mark i think sand was over here pushed the color to the edge and then kept it there so got darker edge i'm gonna finish it up by adding or editing uh, some of the shapes making contrast all right so let's look at them all okay so right now it's pretty much just a texture very abstract and each one has quite neat effect by the material plastic wrap a cheesecloth tissue paper sand I'll show you to finish each painting. There's no one way to finish, but I'll show you example of finishing those artwork. Okay, so let's take one at a time. This one is plastic wrap. I'm looking at the shapes and see if I can make something out of it. You can turn it around, see if you can see anything else. So I am going to make koi fish like this. So I can use small brush for the detail. So here's the orange. I can bring in the blue here. So you can use the lines what's there or you can just create lines if that what's there isn't make any sense you can create your own line but try to use those shapes so keeping abstraction maybe I can change the color to more redder So I'm just uh, deciding the color and the shape that I want to fill in and then trying to uh, reserve the arbitrary marks, accidental like that abstraction, save as much as possible. Within the shape I try to change the color so it's not remains flat. Okay, there's another fish, so three is better than two. So I see this here, maybe I can move this way. So the background is a little bit weak, so I need to enhance the background a little bit but not to distract the positive shape which is the fish. So maybe I'll just pick up some of the edges uh, to create maybe pebbles underneath the water type of things.
took a little while. Sign it. Hold on. 